make a clothing product, you'll want to go to the clothing tool and append the clothing file. You'll get the default avatar here. And if you click this button here, you can see the bones through him and you can see that he is weighted properly. Uh, you can either create your piece of clothing in this scene or import one that you've already made in another scene. I'm going to create just a, a basic cube around the, the torso to show how it works. So once we have our clothing product in place, all you have to do is click bind to armature. Oh, make sure it's just the cube and bind to armature. Uh, if that doesn't work first try or the automatic weighting looks very off, you can switch this tab to rigging and go to skin and click this little square next to bind skin and copy these settings. Once it's skinned, you can see if I move this, then it just has some automatic weights put to it. Uh, I can also, if I undo that, if I add a couple of edge loops here, and then bind it, you can see it's a little bit smoother. So once you have that, if you aren't happy with the automatic weighting, and you can click the paint weights button and you'll see on the right these are all the bones and they're waiting. I won't go into how to paint weights since that is just uh, something inside of Maya. The paint weights button just opens up the paint weights tool. If you click on the pose button it'll select the entire skeleton which will make it easy to grab different bones and move them so you can see how your uh, clothing deforms with the, with the character. If you move the bones into a weird position and you want to get back, you can click the reset pose button. This limit bones you want to do at the end. This will make sure that the clothing object is only bound to a maximum of four bones, or rather each vertex is only bound to a maximum of four bones. That is in views limit, and if you import a uh, mesh that, ha that goes beyond the four bones per vertex, it will bring it down to it and it may not look exactly the same. Click limit bones, and we should be all set. If I save this as clothing tutorial and export then we can open up in view studio go to clothing and I will do empty mail top now we can import that clothing tutorial we just made we have the skeleton and our material. If we import it, then we get our clothing. It looks a bit like that because the arms, I'm guessing, yeah, the arms bring that in. So now this is bound correctly. You can do a test animation. And uh, if there's any bits peeking through, if this was were an actual shirt, you'd want to adjust that in Maya to make sure that there's no uh, no clipping. That is how you make a clothing object.